Hi guys and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, but this isn't just another battle, this is actually my 50th Wi-Fi battle here on the channel. So, a uh, big milestone for me, I'm really excited about it. Before I get into the battle today, I just want to take a second to say thank you to everybody who's been watching me over the past 9 months that I've been doing this. Uh, I really appreciate all the positive feedback that I've received, all the likes, comments, subscriptions, everything. It means a lot to me. Uh, I'm doing this for two reasons, really. One is because it's fun for me, and two is because I hope it's entertaining for you. So, um, thanks again, and I hope to continue to entertain all you guys with uh, some fun, exciting, and competitive Wi-Fi battles. So, having said all that, I wanted to do something cool for the 50th battle, which is why I decided to have another match against one of my toughest opponents to date, Rocky. The same Rocky from battles 23 and 37, so this is round 3. Although it's not so much a rubber match as it is a shot at redemption for me, since he did defeat me in the first two matches. So, um, he's got another uh, strong team, again, uh, very balanced, so uh, it's going to be a tough test either way, and we're going to get into it. So, I led with Noivern, and he led with Lopunny. So, I'm going to switch out right away, predicting the fake out, and I'm going to come in with Scissor to try and absorb that. And he is going to go for the Mega Evolution right away into Mega Lopunny. And he does go for the fake out, so that's not going to do too much to me. Then he's going to switch out. I guess he doesn't really have a good move for me, so he's going to come in with Magnezone, uh, most likely to try and trap me in with the Magnet Pull. So I'm going to go for my Mega Evolution into Mega Scissor. And I actually uh, read that switch into Magnezone, so I went for the superpower. And uh, that is going to lower my attack and defense, but it's going to be more than worth it because I'm actually going to take his Magnezone out in one shot and take an early lead at 6-5. So then he's going to come back in with his low punny. And I'm going to switch out here because my attack and defense are lowered, so I'm going to come in with Rotom. And he is going to go for the fake out again. And he actually gets the crit. So uh, that takes me down by about a third. So not too good for me. But then I'm going to regain some health with my leftovers. So this turn he's going to go for the ice punch for max damage. And I just barely survived that with 23 health. I go for the leaf storm and I actually miss. So that's very unfortunate for me. And then I'm going to regain some health with my leftovers. So uh, this turn he's going to go for the Ice Punch again. I stayed in because there was no point in trying to save Rotom. Um, so that is going to finish me off and tie the battle up at 5-5. Five, five. So then I'm going to come back in with Scissor. And that's going to force him to switch again. And this time he's going to come in with Landris. And he's going to get the Intimidate to lower my attack. And this time I went for the Bug Bite uh, to get damage. So that's actually going to take him down by half. I got the crit, so that worked out pretty well for me. This turn I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch uh, to see if I can finish him off. Uh, but unfortunately he does survive that in the red. Uh, then he's going to go for the U-Turn uh, to get a little damage. And uh, scout me and switch out. So he's going to come back in with his Low Punny. And he's going to go for the fake out again. It's not going to do too much damage, but uh, he is going to get the mandatory flinch, so he's just trying to wear me down here. Uh, then he's going to switch out again and come back in with his Landris. And he's going to get the Intimidate to lower my attack again. But I actually predicted the switch, so I went for the Roost. And that's going to put me back up to full health. 
So uh, this turn I'm going to go for the bullet punch again to uh, try and finish him off. I got the crit. I'm not sure if it mattered or not, though, um, since he was so weak. But uh, that is going to finish his Landorus off and give me the lead back at 5-4. So then he's going to come back in with low punny. And I'm going to switch out here uh, just because my attack is lowered. So I'm going to come in with my Lodic. And he's going to go for the fake out again. And that's going to take me down by about a quarter. So this turn he's going to go for the Thunder Punch for max damage. And I'm just barely going to survive that with 15 health. And then I have my Citrus Berry to regain some of that health. So I'm going to go for the Scald for max damage. And that does a little less than half. But I do get the burn which was uh, very good for me. And he's going to take some damage from that burn. So uh, he's going to go for another Thunder Punch this turn to try and finish me. I stayed in because it wasn't worth trying to save my Lodic at this point. So uh, that is going to finish me off and tie the battle back up at 4-4. And he is going to take some damage from the burn. So then I'm going to come in with Arcanine. And he is going to switch out again then uh, trying to save his low punny. So he's going to come in with Tentacruel. And I'm going to go for the Extreme Speed. So that actually took him down by about a third, so that was pretty good. And then I'm going to take some damage from the Life Orb, and he's going to regain some health from the Black Sludge. So he's going to double switch me then, actually, and come in with his Dragonite. And I just went for the Wild Charge to get damage, and that didn't do too much unfortunately, and then I'm going to take some recoil and life orb damage. So I'm going to switch out then uh, for two reasons. One, because I don't have a good move for him, and two, because I don't want to get taken out with an earthquake. So I'm going to come in with scissor, uh, but he actually goes for the outrage instead. So that's going to take me down by about a third. Um, then I'm going to go for the bullet punch uh, for max damage. That's going to take him down to about a third. And uh, he's going to go for the Outrage again because he is locked in. And I'm going to survive that with 32 health. And uh, since he's still locked in the Outrage, I'm going to go for another Bullet Punch. And that is going to be enough to finish his Dragonite off and give me the lead back at 4-3. So then he's going to come back in with Low Punny. And uh, he's going to go for another Fake Out. Uh, that didn't do hardly anything to me, but he does get the Mandatory Flinch. And then he's going to take more damage from the burn. So uh, then he's going to go for the Drain Punch to try and finish me off. And I just barely survived that with 5 health. And uh, he restores a little health with that. Uh, so I was actually hoping on uh, surviving his attack, which is uh, why I went for the Roost. And that is going to put me back up to half. And he's going to take more damage from the burn, so that worked out very well for me. Uh, then he's going to switch out, still trying to save his low punny. So he's going to come in with his Politoed. And he's uh, got the drizzle to make it rain. So uh, I went for the bullet punch. And that's not going to do much of anything to him. So uh, then I'm going to switch out, predicting a water move. So I'm going to come in with Noivern. And he does go for the Scald. So that's only going to take me down by about a quarter, but he does get the burn, so that was uh, unfortunate for me. And then I'm going to take some damage from that burn. So this turn I'm going to go for the Hurricane for max damage. It's guaranteed to hit because of the rain, uh, but he just barely survives that in the red. And he's going to hit me with an Ice Beam, and that is going to take my Noivern out. And tie the battle back up at 3-3. Three, three. So then I'm going to come back in with Arcanine. And he's going to switch out then. Uh, predicting the wild charge, I guess. Uh, and he's going to come back in with low punny. Basically as fodder at this point. So I did go for the wild charge. And that is going to be more than enough to finish his low punny off finally. And give me the lead back at 3-2. And I'm going to take some more damage from the Recoil and Life Orb. So then he's going to come in with Tentacruel. And he's going to go for the Protect this turn. 
um, to stall me out, uh, trying to regain enough health with his uh, rendition Black Sludge to uh, survive an attack from me, most likely. I just went for the Wild Charge. So uh, then he's going to uh, regain that health, and I'm going to go for the Wild Charge again, hoping to finish him off, and he just barely survives that in the red, actually. So that was unfortunate for me. Uh, I'm going to take some damage from the uh, Recoil and Life Orb, and that is going to leave me open to get hit with a Scald, and that is going to finish my Arcanine off and tie the battle up once more at 2-2. And then he's going to regain more health from his Rain Dish and Black Sludge again. So then I'm going to come in with Snorlax. And he's going to go for another Protect to uh, try and regain enough health from his uh, Rain Dish and Black Sludge again to survive an attack. Uh, I just went for the Body Slam. So uh, then he's going to regain that health again. And um, he's going to go for the Scald again this turn. Hoping for a burn, probably, but uh, he doesn't get it, and that doesn't do too much of anything to me, which uh, lets me hit him with the Earthquake. And that is going to finish his Tentacruel off and give me the lead back at 2-1. And that's it for the rain. And I'm going to regain some health with my leftovers. So finally, he's going to come back in with his Politoed. And he's got the drizzle to make it rain. And uh, he's going to go for the hypnosis here uh, to try and put me to sleep, but he actually misses. So um, I'm just going to go for the body slam, and that is going to finish his polytoad off. And that is good game, Rocky. So uh, another great match here today. Um, against Rocky. Uh, thanks for watching again, everybody. As always, feel free to like and or comment on the video, as well as subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. Also, uh, please check out Rocky's channel. Uh, I'm going to post a link to his channel in the uh, video description, so uh, he will be posting his side of the battle once again on his channel, because uh, that's what we do. So uh, please uh, check him out as well. He is a good player, uh, and he has a lot of uh, exciting videos to watch on his channel as well. So um, check him out, please. Uh, also, if you're interested in battling me, uh, you can leave a comment with your friend code below. We can battle, and then if it turns out good, I will make a video of it and post it up here on the channel. So, uh, that's it, and we will see you next time.